Shalom, shalom. I'm Elder Isaac Hill, Restores of Truth Ministries, uh, sharing with you another scripture nugget. Uh, this week's scripture nugget is going to be based upon uh, the Torah portion of Dabarim, uh, based on the book of Deuteronomy, uh, specifically chapters 1 through chapter 3, verse 22. And what we see here is uh, Moshe uh, speaking here. It says, these are the words which Moshe spoke to all Israel beyond the Jordan or Jordan in the wilderness, in the desert plain opposite Sioux, between Paran and Tophel and Laban and Hatzerah and the Zaha. And he goes on, talks about the journey and so forth. But what I want to focus on is how important it was for Moshe to begin to recall uh, these places or these locations. It was so important uh, uh, to them and also to us because it causes us to remember uh, events and circumstances in which Yahuwah had done something in our lives. And, 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 and we can use Israel again as an example. It was important for Moshe to, to say these things and to recall these things, to Zakar, to remember these things, so that the people can remember what Yah has done for them. It, it was very important. They serve as markers. And sometimes, in, even in our lives, we, we need certain markers or events or uh, circumstances, if you will, to help us remember. Because a lot of times that's how we learn. That's how we we're able to retain things is because we are remembering or we are rehearsing. As a matter of fact, that's one of the the definitions when it says that Moshe spoke or Moshe com uh, uh, spoke what Yah has said or commanded to the people. That what spoke is not only the bar. But a debah, but it also uh, has a relation to a rehearsal of words. So these were not necessarily just something that he just began to speak, but more or less it was something that he wanted to rehearse to them. Because again, sometimes in life, as you experience things, you sometimes uh, either don't apply the same words or you forget those words. And so Moshe. It was very important for him to uh, to rehearse and to speak uh, regarding not only the commandments but uh, the uh, locations and the events and the situation, the places uh, regarding uh, what uh, what uh, uh, Israel has experienced. Now look, look at this. Uh, Moses wanted them to remember. He wanted them to decar, uh, zakar the words, the words of Elohim. And that's so important. He wanted them to remember. And in order, to, again, to remember, you have to do certain things uh, in cycles. And we have those cycles in our Shabbat and our Moedim. But the thing that really uh, blesses me about this particular reading and this particular scripture nugget is that uh, it parallels those cycles, those more than, and, and, uh, uh, and what I really mean about that is that what we're doing is remembering. We have that zakar. We have that uh, recollection or the recalling because that helps us remember. And not only does it help us remember his word, but it helps us become doers of his word. And so as we begin to to get into this Torah portion, and as you begin to get into uh, your Torah reading, uh, specifically regarding uh, Dabarim, uh, the words, uh, refresh yourself in the word. Remember uh, the things that Yahuwah has done for you. Remember the events, the places, the things, uh, the people. Uh, and also remember specifically his commandments, his words that he is speaking to you. Shalom, shalom. See you next time on Scripture Nugget.